Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the fantasy adventure film Monk Comes Down the Mountain. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Hyangxia is a humble monk who lives in a remote Taoist temple. One day, the master asks him to leave the temple because of his mischief making and also because he wants him to see what life is like outside the temple. Anxia quickly finds himself in a city after leaving the mountain where he meets Shui Danning, a Chinese medicine practitioner and proprietor of an apothecary. Shui, partly out of sympathy for the younger man and partially because he finds his antics amusing, decides to take Anxia in as his apprentice. He Anxia discovers while he is working that Shui has a younger brother named Dao Rong who is not only a perpetual failure who is in debt but also has a hidden relationship with Shui Dao Rong's wife. The younger Dao Rong accidentally gives his wife's medication, which he uses one night to murder his brother. Although they are the ones who cause Dao Rong's death, He Anxia asks his wife and brother to honor his spirit by staying at home, but they disobey him and leave to go celebrate on a rented boat. However, throughout the journey, the lovers end up arguing, which escalates into a struggle, which causes the ship to leak as a result. When Dao Rong and the wife attempt to flee in a panic, they discover they are trapped aboard the sinking boat. Hyangxia dives to the boat, but he lets the couple die as punishment for their transgressions rather than helping them. Hyangxia, although having exacted revenge on his master, feels regret for his inaction and visits a Buddhist temple in an effort to make amends. There, he encounters an abbot who chastises him for his transgression and informs him that he needs spend seven days meditating in the temple in order to be rid of his load. He then goes back to the pharmacy where he runs across Zhao Xinchuan a man who has just purchased some internal medicine for his master in preparation for a forthcoming match. Hyangxia follows Zhao and observes their duel with Peng Qianwu, Zhao's master. Peng is defeated by Zhao, and Peng concedes that Zhao should lead his school rather than his son. Peng, however, uses a concealed blade within his umbrella to stab Zhao in the back as they are about to leave. Peng Kuaizi, the son of Peng Qianwu, visits the apothecary in search of treatment for his injured father. He and Quitesi consume some meat that has been poisoned, which causes them to experience hallucinations. In their delirium, they attempt to steal Zhou Xu's collection box from his temple home, but Zhou catches them and heals them. Hyangxia persisted in his endeavor to become Zhou's pupil. It is revealed that Zhou and Peng Quank were previously students at the martial arts school owned by Peng Quank's father when Quitesi tells his father about Zhou. Zhou had left the school to avoid a disagreement with Peng's father, the school's aligning master who had wanted Zhou to take over as leader. Later, Peng Quang confronts Zhou at the temple and accuses him of stealing the ape strike method. In an effort to appease Peng, Zhou gives him a book in which he has recorded every detail of the technique that he and his collaborator, Boss Cha, created. Peng, however, is unconcerned with the volumes and instead strikes Zhou, who easily overcomes him. When Peng returns home seriously hurt, Quitesi shoots Zhou several times in retaliation from the shadows. Hyangxia brings Zhou, who is about to pass away, to the Buddhist temple so that Zhou might find comfort before he passes away. The temple abbot doesn't console Zhou, instead, he spits water in his face and informs him that life is like a ladle that the gods have thrown, and that these outcomes are due to karma. The abbot reassures Zhou that he may always see his friend in his mind's eyes, allowing him to die with satisfaction. Zhou acknowledges this and says that his greatest regret is that he never got the chance to meet his friend again. Hyangxia then goes in search of Boss Cha with the intention of killing Peng Quank, whom he believes to be the shooter, not realizing that Zhou was actually killed by his son. Boss Cha is a well-known stage entertainer. After hearing of Zhou's murder from Anxia, Cha interrupts his act to go find Peng. This infuriates Zhao Liren, his sponsor, who feels humiliated by the postponed performance. Together with Peng, Zhao plans an ambush with Peng's troops on Boss Cha. After escaping the ambush, Cha vanquishes Peng and his soldiers. When Peng Quitesi confesses to having committed the murder, Cha is just about to kill Peng Quank. Then, Peng Quank uses Cha's spear to murder himself and claims that he is making up for his son's misdeeds. Cha and Hyangxia are seen rehearsing the ape strike maneuver on a mountaintop as the film comes to a close. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.